Okay, and we are back. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the stream. It's me, it's MD Tenebris. I'm back again to bring you some more mediocre Pokemon play. Below me on the screen, I have a link to my YouTube. I have a link to my Twitch. The YouTube is MD Tenebris Plays Pokemon. It's got all my back catalog. If you like the content, you can go see more of it there. The purple is the Twitch link. That is where I am. I'm here at 2 p.m. every Saturday or every 6.30 on Monday. Um, yeah, there is a link in the uh, description box um, to a Discord channel. If you want to join that, you can catch me offline. You can talk to me about anything Pokemon. Um, aside from that, uh, we're going to get into what we're doing today because uh, technical difficulties took us offline. So... Um, we're gonna do the Arcanine V deck today. I'm very excited about this deck. Um, I've put it together so that it synergizes with uh, this Lucario card, right? So you could put two damage counters on your Lucario. You get a fighting energy, put it on the Lucario. You can then use this ability, the Irresistible Force, to put that energy onto the Arcanine, allowing you to vamp up quicker. You got the Coridon in here, so you can put two basic energy from your discard pile onto your Arcanine if you want. Um, and we also have an RCS V star in here because putting three energy cards on to your Arc uh, Arcanine V is uh, fantastic. The star birth is also a very nice side effect that we like out of that. We got some item cards in here. We got Nest Balls, Ultra Ball. We got Guts of Pickaxe. We got the Grant card because it's a fighting type deck. Um, we have a couple of the tools um, just to vamp up our Arcanine V. It's all about getting the Arcanine V going. The nice thing is you can use most of these these uh, cards as your attacker as well. They do nice damage, um, and they all kind of synergize with each other. So that's what I want to do today. Um, before, my headphones were not working. I don't know why. They're working magically now. Um, gotta love tech. When tech doesn't work, I uh, can't stand it. So I had to turn the stream off, delete the video, restart the whole computer, and here we are. So uh, let's hope it goes better than last time, because um, that was silly. I didn't even get to play properly. I uh, I didn't I didn't pay any attention to the game. I was trying to figure out the headphones, so that's a shame. But we're back, better than before. We got heads, so we get to pick who goes first. That's gonna be us. We're going first. I want to get. Didn't have a good starting hand last last game we played this. Um, so we'll see. Oh, we got a little, little bit of lag. We have an Arc Nine V to start, a Lucario and an Ultra. Mm, okay, we're gonna play this. No Pokemon to start. I'm not liking that. Can't play the Gutsy Pickaxe either. Nice thing about the Gutsy Pickaxe is get on your on your or your, any of your Pokemon on your bench. You can then move it to the Arc and V using the Um, Arc and V up and run as possible. Not only this, this is a guy that's a type. They have a type against us, which is very worrying. Um, we may not, may not have this uh, unscathed, unfortunately, it be a good game for, for us. We're going to see. We got to find this band. So we're going to put an oh, just, uh, can you fucking Hey, we're gonna play the ultra. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the end. And um, oh, do we do the that cast or lake accurately? That ten. I don't we do that much. Uh, hindrance. It's gonna help a lot. This game is a uh, shit now. It's pissing me off. Um, so I want here. I literally have two apps which I hate when this happens. So the computer is just slow. I don't, I don't know why. So we finally get to put the uh, fire energy on. We can't use the gutsy pickaxe now. So we put an energy straight on there. Um, and I believe we are going to need our irresistible force now to put that on to be. Let's see. Um. What's this guy? This is. You may draw until you have four cards in your hand. Uh, I'm super concerned. And he's got one. They got the same retreat cost. So, 
gonna save our boss's orders. I'm not too worried about getting attacked next turn. But what we're gonna see. They could they could have a very quick setup, which would be a little upsetting. Um, um yeah, I don't know why my computer is being upsetting. They have the boss's orders. Um but this guy is not weak to grass and put an energy on already have the energy to attack. I don't think. Yeah. Can look like we're gonna see. They might have a card that allows them to put energy on. Um, let me see if I can. So is my turn. Fantastic. We're gonna turn this down a little. Let's save that. I'm gonna hide the video. Okay. Um. So it's just chat now. Cool. 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 So we're gonna go. Uh. Lucario here. Um, what do I want to do? So I can I can attach energy. I'm gonna put two damage counters on him. Reduce his HP to 100. Now this does flip a coin of heads. This does 80 more damage. So we might actually survive this turn. The two options are um, you attach the energies to the Lucario and then you swap them to the Arcanine. Um, Expecting them to hit for 80 and to damage you. Or the, the worst idea, I guess, would be to play it for the Lucario. So we put the second energy onto this Lucario and we attack with the Lucario. We would only be doing, I think, 130 damage. So he would still have 50 HP and he would get, um, he would take out the Lucario. We would not have the damage for the, uh, Arcanine, the, the energy for the Arcanine. We'd be relying on getting the, um, you know, we could kill the Swablu. No, I'm gonna go like this. And I am going to, um... I'm gonna use this Irresistible Force. I prefer to have the Arcanine fully stacked. So I can take out this, uh, Krikatoon V. Um... And actually, we could play this... Mm. That's a little sneaky. No, I think we're going to end it there. I think I'm going to hold the boss's orders for now. I don't want to... Um, I don't want it to end up... Oh, yeah. Hmm. Maybe I should have killed the Swablu. What's that ability to do? Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a supporter card. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Does the turn end? The turn does not end. Oh, you put it on top of your deck. Okay. So it's not... It's not like crazy... Interesting though. Um, what do we got? They might not have grass energy. Um, neither of these Pokemon have an ability that would help them get one. Interesting. They got a mana fee. I don't, I don't have any uh, bench damage, so that's a a useless card. That's fine. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna sit back and we'll wait. I'm gonna take another sip of my Corona. Finally putting lime in it again. Oh, man, so good. Alright, so I'm guessing this is gonna be their last turn. Last thing that they do. Um, because you don't want to use that move and then have another card that would have you shuffle your deck. You'd get rid of your supporter card. So I, at least, would use the Altaria uh, Ability, uh, before I go, so I'm guessing they don't have um, an energy. I'm guessing they don't have an energy. I don't have a switch. Have a gutsy pickaxe. So we're gonna see what we get. We got another boss's orders. What's this guy do? Okay. Um. So maybe. What's the thing you may draw until you have three cards in your hand? Um, I don't have a way to retreat this guy. I don't want to lose him now. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the superior. Um, I'm going to attach an energy to him. I'm going to leave it on him. And I'm going to swap the superior in. Done. Um, so that they at least have to attach an energy or use a retreat in order to get it out. 
Um, we are just stalling right now. Um, clearly, I could have banked on them not getting an energy and not attacking next turn, but I didn't. Um, so that's okay. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how this goes. We do have our Arcanine up and running. I'm just concerned because it's weak to grass, so we do have a disadvantage in this matchup. Our deck is working much better than theirs right now. There's the Superior V, but I do believe this. The oh shit! It only needs one energy. One grass energy. What do they get? This deck is 60 damage for each energy attached to this Pokemon. That's pretty scary. I don't have the energy to. Uh, I'm not. I'm not killing them just yet. I got 210 damage right now on this one. Interesting. Okay, well that's fantastic. So, so we are gonna professor's research. We're gonna get rid of that boss's orders, unfortunately. Um, we're gonna see what we get. Very nice. So we're gonna go bravery charm here. We are going to play this. Uh, we're gonna hold on to the leak. Ooh, what do I want to do here? Um, we're gonna use this ability to grab another. I'm gonna save the gutsy pickaxe. We have this Clara so that if we lose the Lucario and the Riolu, we can just use the Clara next turn and we can put them both back on to uh, onto the bench. Um, do I put this out? 20 less damage. It's not really gonna save it. If it gets one grass energy, it's gonna do 60 damage. Um, so it would save it. So we're gonna play that. We're gonna see how it goes. We got the energy recycler. We got the gutsy pickaxe. I don't want to use, use any of this just yet. We could swap. Um, if we have another two fighting energy, what do we get? Uh, uh, that's 30 times 6. That's 180. 180 plus 90 is... Oh, we would be one short. We'd be 10 damage short, I believe. Um, that's a shame. So we're actually going to go for this Aura Sphere Volley instead. We have to switch for next turn. So the nice thing is we can maybe take out the Superior nice and quick. Leaving them with um, just the Cricket Tune. Now that 160 times 2 would be enough to take out the Arcanine V. So we still have to be concerned about this Cricket Tune V. We do not have the boss's orders anymore. We do not get to pick when we fight it. Um, we're going to see how we're going to do this now. Um, again, if they only have the one Grass Energy to attach and they use their Star, their V Star power. Interesting. So they can't attack with the superior V. Um, it doesn't ha have a retreat cost. Okay. But they can't attack with the Krikatoon V either now. If they get a grass energy, they can't attach it. That was such a weird decision. We're going to see. I wouldn't be surprised if they hold out the superior here as well. Or they would probably cycle it out. Out and put something else in place like the Altaria or something um, you don't want to lose two prize cards like that um, if you have no retreat cost no retreat cost I should look into that I'm a big grass fan leafy camo poncho so that's what it's supporter card uh, and now status effects. this Pokemon ignores all effects from opponents supporter cards wait is this my go uh, I'm confused. We did get this energy, which is nice. Um, it would not be enough to take out this superior. Hmm. So I'm kind of vibing the switch. I'm kind of thinking of switching them out and taking out the superior with the Arcanine V. Um... Because if I do this... It's going to be 130. It's going to be... It's only going to be 260. Um, and I'm not doing any extra damage. So we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. It's a little it's a little silly, but... Um, they still need a coin flip to take me out. Um, and I have enough. The 210, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so we're going to put an energy onto this Lucario here. Oh, okay. We're going to play the Gutsy Pickaxe, actually. No, we're going to hold on to that, because that's such a useful card. Um... And I guess we'll just go Roaring Resolve again. Do they do any bench damage? Not visibly. Okay. So we're going to grab another energy. So the Lucario is already for next turn. We're going to see. We're going to see how we go. Um, 
up, 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 up. And we're gonna go to 10. Just take out this superior V. We're gonna take some prize cards, sneak into the lead, see what we do. Not bad. Okay, let's go. Arcanine V in movement. We like it. We like to see the decks work that we put together. A nest ball and a fighting energy. Fantastic. So we can go and grab an Ar Arceus. Would make a lot of sense here. We grab the Arceus, evolve it into the Arceus V Star next turn, use it to go and grab another Arcanine V, and maybe like um, like a Coridon or maybe another uh, uh, Riolu. Um, the Coridon will be useful because once they take out this Arcanine V. Um, we um we can grab all the energies back from the uh from the discard pile using the Coridon and the Clara. They got a second superior V in. So this guy, he still needs to flip it. If he doesn't get we need tails. Give me tails, 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 tails. Yes, we got the tails! We got the tails! Oh baby. Oh, we need those little little pieces of luck when we're going up against decks that have have the type advantage. Oh, could not get any better than that. We won. We got the game. There you go. So they knew they knew it was over. The energy took too long for them to find. They put it on the wrong Pokemon. Wow, we took down a type type matchup that had the advantage against us for our first for our first real game. I'm impressed. Way to go, Arcanine V. Not bad. Alright, so I gotta take note of that because I'll forget how many games we won and lost today. What's that? So we're gonna go win, loss. That's a win. We're gonna go one win. Bam. Let's go. MDT Nebris is here. We're going again for another another one. The nice thing is it's the Arcanine, but it's not the fire type, so we're not weak to all the ice type, water type decks that are out there. Um I, I have been considering throwing um, a Metagross VMAX into my Skeledurge deck because of how many steel weaknesses there are in the water type decks nowadays. Um, but we're going to see. We're going to see what we get. We get to call. We're going up against tr Trasty. Trasty. I guess it's meant to be Trasty McNasty, but that's not how you would say Trasty. I don't think that is. Thanks for just not playing. Got the same hoodie as me, and uh, that sucks. 80-80-15. I wonder if they connected and we just couldn't play each other. So they were just watching, and it just looked like I wasn't doing anything either. Huh. Who knows? I bet the developers of the app don't, because it's... It's... <laughs> it's letting me down. I don't know. Do I want to keep wearing my hoodie? I'll keep wearing my hoodie. Why not? So that's two wins. That one doesn't really count, which sucks, but at least it didn't count as a loss, so we're still undefeated. That's the nice thing. I didn't have to concede and have a have a uh, have a a loss on the chart. Managed to play it out. Okay, we're going up against my sweet shadow. Calling it heads. And we got the coin flip again. That's three times in a row, I believe. So yeah, we're gonna go first again. Very nice. We like it. Give me all the luck. No, that's not there's no luck there. That's a bad hand. There's no basic Pokemon. I can't play that. So the opponent gets a card to start. I'm gonna mulligan. That's a big shame, but that's just what happens when you when you're playing Pokemon. Hmm. -hmm, -hmm. All right, come on. There we go. Oh, we got two Mulligans. Fantastic. Two Mulligans. We love to see it. We got a Riolu and a Lucario. So we're gonna play the Riolu to start. Uh, I think behind this is because you can attach the energy. You can evolve it on your second turn um so as long as it can make it through the first hit uh with 70 hp which you know hopefully that's the hope um that'll be fantastic um interesting so we're gonna put one energy on 
Um, we are gonna gutsy pickaxe and see if we get another energy. Oh, we got a professor's research. Um, and that's it. We're not gonna go. We do have the type advantage, so we finally got some luck. We went up against the grass type that has the advantage against us. Now we're going up against the electric type that we have the advantage. I wouldn't be surprised if this turned out to be a Regilecki VMAX deck. Um, we're gonna see. Of course, the lovely thing is when our uh, Arcanine V has four fighting energies attached to it, it's gonna do 420 damage to the Regilecki VMAX, so it can one-shot all of the Pokemon here. We just have to find it. Um, I'm not in the... I kinda like this Clara card, but you know, the Professor's Research. We evolve this, we attach another energy. Um, we can even use the ability to attach the energy, and then we can put this energy on a Coridon, and then we can Professor's Research. Or we could Professor's Research and just put that into the discard pile for the Coridon ability later on. That's an interesting one. Because if we did get a uh, an Arcanine V, I, I would, I would want to be able to put the energy onto that if we did get an energy and an Arcanine V in the Professor's Research Redraw. Um, but actually, you can move it with the ability, so we'll just put it on the Coridon. Overthinking like an idiot. There we go. There we go. So, we got some weird deck here. Pikachu EX. I have not seen this card. I probably have. I forgot it. Flip a coin. If Tails discard all energy from this Pokemon, 220 damage. Okay. Zangoose. Doesn't evolve. 40. I'm surprised. That's a weird card to see. Um... Out and about doesn't have an ability it doesn't provide any damage it doesn't have a lot of HP it's not a very good card it doesn't evolve into anything I don't know why you would would you would you why would you have that that's weird Ugh. Mm. that's weird okay So I don't want to have to discard the energy. I kind of don't want to evolve it now. Wish I got a boss's orders. Oh, um, we're gonna play you. We're gonna play you. Um. We have the type advantage. He just got rid of an energy. Like, we are actually super safe right now. Um, do either of these guys do 50 damage? 30. No. Um, and I have two, so that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So if he had two energies attached, he could knock me out with that. Um, that's whatever, dude. That's whatever. I don't care. We're gonna just keep going. Going full throttle. Professor's research this shit. Let's go! Wow, that was that was terrible. What the fuck? Trekking shoes. Yeah, I'll keep the energy. Um, we'll go Lake Acuity. Nah, no need. Just gonna hit him. Two sixty. Got the boss's orders as well. Um, so I can manipulate their their team next turn. We have the the fighting energy in hand, which means we will have enough energy on our Lucario next turn to do the damage. Um, we didn't have to put any damage counters on it, which is great as well. Playing the Pikachu EX with the experience share, which means the experience share is a wasted card now. You're putting the one energy on, you're gonna do 30 damage. Interesting. Um, we seem to have come up against uh, a total novice at the game. My Sweet Shadow has built the weirdest looking deck I've ever seen, and they're not playing it very nicely. You would want to put the Raikou there for the free draw, for the fleeted, fleeted foot, um, or whatever. So we're going to go Energy on here, and we're going to go Roaring Resolve. We're going to grab another, um, another Energy. We're going to put it straight on. No problem. Um... Um, and this is weak to fighting, correct? Yeah, so we're gonna go, we're not boss's orders, we're gonna go youngster here. I wanna redraw this, I don't need any of this stuff right now. Um, we're in a good spot. I wanna pull an Arcanine. There we go! 
So we get the Arcanine out. We get the Bravery Charm. Fantastic. We're going to grab another Nest Ball as well. Um, we're going to go for another Arcanine, I think. Oh, we could go for another Lucario. Oh, that's kind of an interesting one. We don't have a, uh, an Evolution, do we? No. Okay, so we're going to go for the other Arcanine. It's whatever. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. And we're going to use the... Um, Gonna use this Aura Sphere of Volley to uh, just knock the Pikachu ES out. It's fantastic. And we have another Fighting Energy in our hand. So they're gonna play the Raikou. We're gonna see what they do. Um, this might be the game, but if they get another basic Pokemon. Oh, fantastic. Oh, it doesn't even matter anymore. They're done. They're done. This game's over. Uh, I feel bad for my sweet shadow because uh, they they seem to be struggling with with what they need Another Another Pokemon that just doesn't do a lot for you Really doesn't do that much at all And a third Pokemon that doesn't do much for you this one at least is no rich tree cost So you can like play this one and you can get like 60 damage on You know for one energy and you can retreat it for nothing. So you can just leave it as a sock you see so he's just gonna leave that there. Um, I don't have my boss's orders either, which is a shame, but uh, I'm not too concerned about that. We got a Riolu here. Um, we are gonna put an energy on here. And we're gonna go Roar and Resolve. We're gonna put another 20 damage on in exchange for another energy. Didn't even need to use the Arcanine this game. Like this guy, uh, unfortunately, just doesn't doesn't know how to how to do this. We're gonna play the Arcanine next next turn. Um, we're just gonna keep taking him out. Why not? Why not? We just need two prize cards left. No doubt they're gonna play the Pitcherchin. They are just stalling out for time, I guess. Hoping to eventually find, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know why they're wasting time because this game's over. So they think they've got it now. We will see. We will see. Um, so now we got the Lucarios. We're going to have two Lucarios in play, which is great. What are you doing, dude? What? That's so funny, like I wasn't actually going to attack this turn either, so this poor dude, um, I believe I can still use my ability. Interesting. Yeah, we can still use the ability. Alright, so we're going to play the Lucario here. Um, and we're going to go Roar and Resolve. We're going to grab, we're going to put another two damage counters onto the Lucario here. Not bad. We're gonna grab an energy and we're gonna put it on it. So this is how the deck is meant to work. Now you're gonna really see. You're gonna have two Lucarios in play, sometimes three. And you're gonna keep using this Roaring Resolve. You're gonna trade 20 HP and you're gonna grab yourself an energy from your deck. We got seven left so we can do this a bunch more times, right? And then we're gonna use this ability, Irresistible Force. And we're gonna take this, we're gonna take these energies we're going to put it onto him. We're going to take this energy. We're going to put it onto him. Ta-da. And then uh, we're going to use the Koridon. We're going to go like this. We're going to attach two basic energies. This was actually the perfect opportunity to display how this deck works. Um, which is great, you know, because that's... And then the turn ends because you use the Koridon ability. But that's fine because I wasn't planning on attacking. Like, that was the whole point is we're now sacrificing this Lucario um, and we have enough energies that we are in a very, very healthy spot. We have a switch so we can swap him out next turn. The the Pinchurchin might take him out, um, I would expect. They put it on the Raikou V. What is this kid doing? This has got to be like a seven-year-old or something. Like, this doesn't make any sense. They've given me the perfect opportunity to display this deck, though, so I'm not gonna, not gonna keep complaining. Oh, interesting, okay. Okay, so wait, you got the... You can't retreat. How much damage are you going to do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
plus 20, 140, 160. Ah. Well, I'm, I'm dead anyways, that's fine. 160 damage. Alrighty. Um, and I think we're just gonna play... Just gonna play the Arcanine, man. Why not? Why not? Why indeed? Very nice. So we got this fighting energy. We can put it onto here. We can take this Lucario. We can use our ability. Very, very nice. Grab the energy. No problem. Gonna use the nest ball. We're gonna go maybe grab another Riolu. Very nice. Okay, so we can evolve that into the Lucario next turn, which we love. Um, we're gonna use this irresistible force ability to take this energy. Okay, and then. That's it, right? That's it. And now we're going to knock out this pit church in 420 damage. We, we, we do have the type of advantage as well, so that's why. So, they can bring in the Raikou V. I don't think that card that they have is going to be uh, a Clavel or something that's going to bring in a lot of basic Pokemon. Even if they do, they're still going to max out at, like, I think they max out at 220, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, and plus the 20, so it's 220. Uh, so we're safe. We're totally fine. Um, might have been a little concerned if we were going up with uh, just this guy. Maybe they had, um, you know, an electrolyzer or something that was going to boost the electric types attacks. But fortunately, not too concerned about our situation today. You see, they should have had the Raikou up for the Fleeted Foot the whole time. Cynthia's Ambition. Oh, interesting. They might be able to pull one or two. But, like, the game's over. They're just wasting time. But, I mean, that's their right. It's their turn. They have uh, lost the game. So we'll see. And there's no way they can win. Because even if they do somehow knock out the Arcanine, this Arcanine is going to be ready next turn. we got two Lucarios that are going to be in play. Can go and grab... Um, go and grab... We even have the switch in case they paralyze us. Like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not concerned at all. This is just a time waste. It's funny when people do that as well. People will go and they'll like waste your time and they're like, ha ha. And it's like, you're wasting your own time too. Like you could be, you could have moved on to a game that you're actually, you have a chance of winning, you know? Um, but instead you're here being petty, trying to build up damage. Like he's still, he could knock out the Lucario if he's got a boss's orders, but then, like, what are you doing? Like, I just don't. Stop wasting time. He had just enough. Oh, right, because the Regilecki VMAX gives you an extra 30. I forgot about that. That's a nasty one. Um, I'm just going to hit him. Why not? Peace. That's the game. Swinging through here, 420 damage. Not bad. Take our prize card. And uh, this is why we built the deck. We built the deck so we could just wipe the floor with these uh, invasive Regilecki VMAX decks. So very, very happy to display 1600 damage. Very nice. They didn't get their deck set up properly, but like we were in a very good spot. You could see how, how nice our deck was set up. Um, they weren't playing any, any, uh, not Marnies or Judges or any of that, so, like, we were good. We were good. No tilting. We had the Youngster for those as well. The Youngster's very good. In case someone does judge you, you end up with four cards that suck, and one of them happens to be a, um, happens to be a Youngster. You can swap the four cards for a brand new five cards, so that's a great one. I, uh, it's like the anti-judge. Ba, 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 ba. Destiny Dragoon! I've defeated everyone who's up here at my level, so it's just you. I guess it's just me. This isn't even like the ranked ladder, so I don't know what level you're talking about. Is this like a congregation? Am I making a linear journey upwards? 
We got the heads again. That is four. Four heads flips in a row, and I won last game as well. So that's three wins. Three wins, baby. Undefeated. It's dead. Okay, fuck off then. I'm not waiting for this asshole to finish. Like, fuck that. That's ridiculous. Alrighty, so that's a loss. That's the first loss of the day, and it was against a type of uh, weakness that we had. So, not doing too bad just yet. Um, you know, the Clavel might be a good shout. Because um, you can put two basic Pokemon on your bench, but they have to be beneath a certain... HP, so it can only be the Riolu. Now, that does help you get the Arcanine back into play quicker, but I, um... Kind of restricts... I guess one of the Nest Balls could be a Clavel, and then the other three could be Nest Balls. That would make a little sense. And then if you happen to get it, then you can throw both the Riolu onto you. But if you don't need the Riolu, then you can't use the card. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Yeah, I think they just have the 250. I don't think... No! Fuck, that's the game. That's the whole game. Well played. Yeah. We almost had him. We almost had him. That that was close. If we had gotten the boss's orders instead of them, um, we could have won. So, that's just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes your opponent gets the boss's orders card that you need, and they get to win the game instead of you. And it's all about luck. It's a shame. But, uh, all right. Look at that, 1,320 damage. So I actually did way more damage than them. Uh, I think I have a much better deck. I just... <sighs> I got messed up at the end. I have three bosses orders in here. Come the fuck on, dude. Ah, that's garbage. Hey, phase leader. Welcome to the chat. How you doing? Yeah, we're doing a fighting deck today. We are uh, playing the Arcanine V uh, with the infinite scaling damage. Uh, it's the kind of stuff we love to play with. Um, and that was a loss. That was a close loss, but that was a loss. So we were 3 and 2 thanks to technical difficulties ending the beginning of the stream. Yes, and that's, I think that's the fifth. I, I'm probably wrong here, but I might have had every uh, every coin toss today. We got the Riolu we were hoping for, and they conceded. Okay, so I guess they just gave up. Interesting. Oh, we're coming up on 4 p.m. 15 minutes away, huh? We're going up against Derek F. This kid always gives his all for his match. Get a load of this guy. I'm sitting here drinking a Corona like a pleb. Oh, man. Waiting for Derek F. So it's a fire-type deck. This could be another Arcanine um, EX. Wouldn't be surprised. Could be Skeledurge EX. There's a lot of cool fire decks out. So that will be the sixth, <laughs> the sixth coin toss that we won. Um, that's pretty funny. No basic Pokemon. Oh, we do have a basic Pokemon to start. It's our Arcanine V. Yeah. Are you familiar with this card phase later? Ah, uh, this guy. So often as you like during your turn, you may move fighting energy from one of your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. And then this attack does 80 more damage for each fighting energy attached to this Pokemon. Very nice. And we got the Bravery Charm. So we're actually going to play Bravery Charm. We're gonna go trekking shoes. Please give me a Riolu, 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 Riolu. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Very nice. Uh, we're gonna leave it at that. And uh, this guy reminded me I want the good. Some of them are good. Some of them are not good. Um, these ones. When I see someone do these, uh, this crying one or this this hat angry one, it makes me laugh. So I wanna I wanna keep those ones on my wheel. So that I can, uh, I can, I can make them laugh because that's what I think is worth better. Alrighty, um, yeah, it's not a new card. It's uh, it's a pretty old card. 
You use the crying one? Yeah, that's the one I like as well. You... <laughs> the angry one also cracks me up. It's like, uh, those are the fun ones. Because, because the avatar looks the way the avatar does, and then it does the emotion, and then it goes back to looking the way it does. So when you use these ones, when you use the thumbs up, because it goes back to a normal face after, it looks like it's trolling. It doesn't look like it's actually like thumbs up. It looks sarcastic. Um, so that's an interesting decision to go for the uh, Radiant Charizard. Interesting. So they just got rid of two bosses orders. We like that. Bear Candy, Escape Rope. They're struggling it is going to be an arcanine ex deck they did not get a good starting hand you can see the difference like even the best decks suck with a bad starting hand unless it's a mu v max deck because that deck is insane okay so we got another energy we're going to attach that we're going to go for the youngster now we're going to play our youngster get five new cards got another arcanine for the bench we got a nest ball for a Riolu. That was perfect. That was such a perfect draw. Okay. Um, going to go for a Riolu here. Um, we are going to play the Grant. Oh, we can't play the Grant card. Um, we're not going to do that. We're going to end the turn. So that's great. So we will have the Arcanine V up and running next turn. So the third turn. If we had the Riolu in our first turn, we could have had it up uh, second turn because the Riolu lets you add on two energies in a turn. Um... Which is nice to Lucario. So we could have had him up running this turn if we would had the Riolu a turn earlier. That's what I was trying to say. But um, yeah, we're going good. This guy is not getting the cards he needs. Um, I feel bad. I feel bad for this guy. Um, we're going to go Roaring Resolve here. We're going to grab an energy for 20 HP. We got 10 left in the deck. Alrighty, and then we're going to use the Irresistible Force here to drag this energy over. Alrighty, that's our first prize card. We take the lead in the Tenebris out ahead. We got a Professor's Research. That's perfect. We can put the the energy onto our Ars Arcanine V, we can use the Professor's Research and discard the Grant at the same time. Great. Great. Oh, man. I find my decks just work so much smoother when you've got, like, two Professor's Research and a couple of Youngsters. So you can just change the hand out if you get a bad hand, because you're not immune to bad, bad hands, you know? Oh, and we got another Arcanine. This is filthy. This is a filthy. Like, you want this card to be in your discard pile already. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, man. Look at this. Got the Koraiden. We got another Nest Ball. We'll grab another Riolu. I hope if we have it, we have it. We got it. We'll put it in here. And we're going to play our Gutsy Pickaxe. We're going to hopefully get an energy. No. Ah, not what we needed. Um, we're going to go Roaring Resolve. Boom. It might be a little slow for the opponent, unfortunately. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of playing those kind of decks, but... That's how this deck works. It's got a lot of it's got a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of stuff to do every turn. So we're gonna take the one price card. Uh, nice, we got a boss's orders. So um, this game, uh, we got the best setup and they got the worst. It's so weird that I like feel angry that I lose games where I have really bad hands, and I also get angry. I feel bad about winning games when they also got a bad hand. It sucks. It sucks. Alrighty. Hey, they played it out longer than... Well, no, I probably would have played it out that long, too. We will see. Okay.
Okay. Boom. So that is another one. That is uh, that's five wins to three losses. So actually, we're coming up on the. Uh, I think that's uh, five wins and two losses. I think it's this is a better record right now than the Mu Max did. But the Mu Max we were playing in ranked. Five wins and three losses in ranked. This is standard. This is where people come to practice their decks that they don't play in ranked because they're not good enough yet. That's why I'm playing it here. But I might play this in ranked. Who am I kidding? Every time I come up against a Mu Max, I would just cry. I guess you could throw a Drapion in here. Oh, I'm encounter the Movie Max deck kind of easily. Because that's the thing about the Drapion, is the Drapion, as, as soon as you're, as soon as you have the Drapion in play, if you're playing against a Movie Max deck and they have set it up properly, the Drapion should be able to hit for free, and it should be able to do 190 damage times by two because of the type disadvantage. So if you get the Movie Max, you can actually swing in there and knock it out for three price cards really quick, and then... They might have a Genesect or something um, that they can play in, in place, or like a single prize card. But, we'll see. Okay, so Palkia. Looks like probably going to be the Champau Palkia. We've been seeing that a lot recently. We're going to go for the Nest Ball here. We're going to grab ourselves an Arcanine. Um, actually, inspect the board. What do we got? We got Jacques. Um, and an Ultra Ball. Maybe we go for the Arceus. Maybe we go for the Arceus. I'm going to play an energy here. I'm going to leave that. The boss's orders is nice, but we can't go because this is our first turn. All right, turn. So I guess the thinking behind this is we have the Jack, so we can go and get both the Lucario and the Arceus V-Star. We can use the V-Star ability to go and get an Arcanine and then another uh, Pokemon. I'm not sure who I would get. Maybe I would get another, um, a different card. Um, like a pickaxe or something else like that. Um, you know what? Actually, if I get the Jacques, if I use the Jacques, um, yeah, I'll probably go and grab a youngster, um, so I can swap out, get a new hand next turn. That'd be kind of nice. I like that idea. You know what? They should make the they should make the ocean sound better. They should make this actually be like psh, psh, and have it really nice and soothing. Cause it just sounds like someone's squishing. It sounds like someone's like swishing their hand in the water. Um, it gives it a little bit of a splishy, splashy vibe rather than a. Uh, a nice ocean vibe. All right, what do we got here? USPS, the package has arrived at the warehouse and cannot be delivered due to incomplete address. I know this message, this is a scam. I am not going to send you any of my data. You are blocked. In fact, let me just reply quick. Go fuck yourself. Send, and now you're blocked. Block this caller. Scammers are the worst, right? They think they're like clever, but they're just like thieves. That's all it is. It's thievery from a distance. These people are bad people. I don't care what your motivations are for, for taking other people's stuff. Yeah. Um, so what do we got? We got trekking shoes here. Um, do I want to put that in my hand? Inspect the board. I already have to. Okay, so no. No, let's see if we can get something better. Switch! Oh, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good one. Um, so we're gonna go energy out of here. Uh, we shouldn't have done that. Um, we're gonna go. There's no VMAX. We don't have the RC's VMAX. So we got, uh, the V-Star. So we got totally fucked. It's in the price cards. Um, that's a bummer and a half. Um, I'm gonna go for the Ultra Ball. No, I can't put any energy on this turn. Um, I'm. Uh, 
I can use the Roaring Resolve and I would be doing 190 damage. Which is a decent amount. That's a decent amount of damage right there. I can't believe the V-Star is in the prize cards. Fuck. Ah, that's all right. Um, and we're going to go for the 190 damage here. Um, obviously, if they don't get the V-Star on the Palkia, they're not going to be swinging for that much damage on us, which is nice. Um... They got the Lake Acuity, which protects us as well as them. Not the Lucario, because it's not a basic. They got the Rare Candy. They're going to have the Kingdra. They are probably going to reshuffle my hand. Hallelujah. They don't know that it sucks. Um, We're going to see. Starting your turn. Yeah, you can have either shuffle. If your opponent has four cards in their hand, like you should probably shuffle that. Just to mess with them. That's why they put it in the game, right? To screw with the opponent. Like, it's not it's not like a fair tactic or anything. It just really tilts your opponent by, by taking all the plans that they had and, and just throwing them out the window. Which uh, is a shame. And for creatures of habit that like to know what we're up against, that, that really, really fucks with me. So they got the V-Star. There you go. They're going to have the V-Star. Uh, they probably have the water energy to put on it. So it's probably going to hit me for... I think it's... 60 plus 20 per bench 20 40 60 they're gonna have enough to knock out the lucario this game is looking very bad um interesting how many water energies do they have in their discard none interesting decision um maybe that's similar to my decision when i put the energy on the wrong pokemon oh man Oh my, maybe they've given up on this Palkia. Maybe they're like the V-Stars for another Palkia um, that they have in their hand or something. That's interesting. I think it's a mistake. Javiolinist. Ah, oh man, I know that feeling. I know that feeling. Um, What are you going to do now? You don't have water energy in your discard pile and you attached one. Interesting. Okay, so I wonder what... I wonder if they get something that allows them to... I wonder if they're going to do my hand. Do my hand. I don't need these cards. Come on. Come on. I dare you. Come on. Interesting. The Finian... That only works for... The Dugong or the... The, the Cedra. They didn't even use the Cedra in this. Huh. Ha ha ha. I wonder what the hell they're doing, man. Oh, how many did they put in here now? Just the one. So they can use their star portal. Fuck. Fuck. So he can knock me out. Dang. Yep, there you go. She. That Greninja, man. Pairs so nicely with the Palkia. So there you go. That's probably the game. I'm, I'm probably fucked now. Good times. Bad hand. Jeez, man. Look at that. I got another switch. Could not have needed that less. We're going to get rid of Lucario and one of the switches. Thanks very much, but no thanks. Really needed that V-Star. Really fucked that it didn't show up. Ah, oh, man. Um. I guess the correct thing to do is put the energy on it here. And then boss's orders. Um, and I'm gonna boss's orders. The Greninja. Um, because they don't want to attach an energy to it. And they're all one, so it doesn't even matter. Um, oh, and I can still take as many energies from your other Pokemon. It doesn't have to be a fighting type. Look at that. So if I can survive this turn, we've got a chance. Oh, no. That's a bad omen. Fell right in the bin. Holy shit. You okay? Oh, man. My hench, my hench Doug trio is uh, not doing great. 
fallen in the bin. Poor dude. Okay, so do they have a water energy to attach to the Radiant Greninja to retreat it? Uh, and if so, honestly, I think I still survive. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's 120. Huh, what are they doing here? What are they doing here? Okay. Interesting decisions that are being made here. And they still went for the Palkia. Hmm. If you could do that to me, that'd be that'd be pretty good. They never do it to you when you want it, man. It's such a shame. Got a horse to see, okay. So now I'm in trouble. Really need a fighting energy. Really need a fighting energy. Really need a fighting energy. Close enough. That's close enough. Just one fighting. Yes! Fighting. Fighting. And we have another youngster for next turn. Fuck a duck. Um. Okay. Well, I'm gonna lose this RCS V though, unfortunately. So, um, that's all right though. We're gonna grab three energies. I'm gonna put them all onto one, so that he can hit next turn and knock out the Palkia V Star. So then, hopefully, what happens is they knock out my RCS V, and then I knock out their Palkia V Star, and then they don't have an attacker set up, and they're hoping to rely on this Kingdra. Um, or maybe the horsey that's coming through. We will see. We will see. So it's not a Chim Pao deck, though. It's like a pure Palkia V Star Kingdra deck, I guess. Alrighty. And I guess the noise in the background for normal types is crystal. I don't know what that is. I don't know why it's got the normal up when it's his turn either. That's the interesting one. Oh! Oh, thank you. I only had two cards there, my dude. Are you sure you want to do that? Are you sure you want to do that? Gutsy Pickaxe, another youngster, and a defiance band, and a bravery charm. Holy... Oh, thank you. And he didn't do the damage. Because I have fighting energy attached. Oh my, my gosh. Insane in the membrane. So we're going to go pickaxe here. Got another pickaxe. We're going to go pickaxe. Infinite card draw technique here. Interesting. We don't need the Lucario this turn. So we're going to go Defiance Band onto the U. We're going to go Bravery Charm onto a Yi. Um, do we do the Youngster again? Shit. Yeah, let's do the Youngster again. Dang, 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 dang. We did not get any more energies. Um, that's kind of what I was hoping for. Actually, um, inspect the board. I think I have two Lucario in here. One, two, yeah. So, uh, Koridon. It's a better bet. Go back for Koridon. Here we go. Um, and actually, what we can do. One, two, three, four. Um, I think what we want to do is we want to use this guy to snag one of these oh okay done I'm gonna use another one to snag another one because if I'd had the fighting type energy I could have just hit with the power edge but I didn't get it um, unfortunately um, so we're gonna have to sacrifice this Arceus 
Um, and we're going to use this Coridon now. I know Cry. We're going to pull two out of the discard pile and attach them to. Oh, how'd I put it on that guy? Oh, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. One, two, and that's the turn. That's fine. So they can take the RC's V. And honestly, if they're smart, they would swap the Arceus V, they would swap the Palkia V-Star out for the Kingdra and kill it with the Kingdra if they have the water energy. Um, but then they don't have the Palkia V-Star set up anymore. I don't know how their deck is meant to work. This Horsey evolves into a Seedra that has the Swim Freely ability. So you can move as many water energies to the Swim Freely as you want. Um... Another pickaxe, fantastic. And the Jacques for the, the um... Oh, and they didn't take it out! I don't know what this person's doing, man. They they don't seem to know how to play their own deck, so I'm... Uh, I, don't, I don't care. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. We got another youngster. Oh, happy days. So we're gonna put uh, one on there. We're gonna gutsy pickaxe. What do we get? What do we get? A switch! Fantastic. Uh, we will go to Jack this turn. We'll go and grab our Lucario. Unless it's in the prize cards. It is in the prize cards. What else do we have? Boss's orders. We got three more energies in the deck. So, both the Lucario and Arceus V-Star are in the prize cards. Um, so that's it. We're just going to hit him. 190 damage. It's going to be enough. Should be 380, I think, in total. There you go. Knocked out. And then I don't see what they're gonna do. I don't I don't understand what their plan is. They do just need to take one of my Pokemon. Oh, we got the V-Star. Too late. <laughs> um Did we already use our Clara? No, so we could potentially go back and get that. Not bad. Yeah, what are you gonna do? You got Hydra Splash for 130. Like that's it. You got a Manaphy. Like they're stalling out. I don't know what their game plan is. They're just wasting time now. Um Now they can attach as many water energies as they want to this Pokemon. However, there's a better version of this Kingdra for this kind of deck. Where it does forty damage per water energy attached to it. And that's when this really vamps up. Wow, they only had one energy to attach from their hand. Maybe they don't have enough energy in the deck. Maybe that's the problem. One, two, three, four. Four energy, they, five, they had one in their hand. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I thought we were in a little bit of trouble, but um, I don't see another attacker that, that can contend with this Arcanine V now that he's up and running, so... Um, probably use the Gutsy Pickaxe, probably use the Youngster next turn. Um, yeah, just working through. Man, this has been, uh, not too hard. It hasn't been a hard, like, I haven't had to deal with a ton of judges, haven't had to deal with a ton of... There they is. That's, that's, that's the one you want to be scared of. That's the Infinite Scaling. Yeah, you see, that's the Infinite Scaling Kingdra. But he's only doing, like, 80 damage right now. Um, we don't have a boss's orders. Have I used one yet? Yes, I have. So we got two left. Unless one's in the prize cards, obviously. Oh, they got rid of my hand. They gave us the boss's orders. It's fantastic. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. Trekking shoes, what'd we get? Um, no, because I don't have any Lucario. Got a Clara. Oh, we could go and get the RCSV back out, but we don't need it. Um, let's go boss's orders. Let's take out that Cedra. Put these energies into the bin for them. Da, 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 da. Why not? Why not? I have a. Uh, uh, I have a version of that that Kingdra deck on my on my YouTube channel, MD Tenebers Plays Pokemon. 
that was one of the first decks I actually did on the channel. Um, the Deep Sea Kingdra deck. Uh, um, that's a fun one. If you if you set it up right, I like to play it with the Blastoise. Um, but it works equally as well with the Dugong. I haven't done the Swim Freely deck itself, the one where it uses the Oceanic Accompaniment for both the Seedra. And now that you've got this Kingdra, that would be an interesting one. Um, with your Dugong as your secondary attacker. The problem is, they don't synergize, these two. The Dugong shuffles all the energy back into the deck. And the Kingdra, not this one, but the other Kingdra, um, if a Pokemon is knocked out, you can move as many water energies from it to your Kingdra. So that's why I like to play the Kingdra with the Blastoise. Because you stack the water energies on your Blastoise to do all this damage. And then you, uh... Oh, fantastic! We got another boss's orders! This guy... This guy... It's just so kind. He's just the best. He's just the best. I can't. It's too. It's so unfortunate for him, but it's it's so humorous for me. Um, <laughs> that's so unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's too funny. It's too funny. goodness that sped it up a lot that's nice that sped the game up a ton and we got our grants now the lovely thing about this grant is you play it you do 30 extra damage per turn and then you can just pull it back out of your your uh, discard pile with its ability you discard two other cards so you would discard energies preferably and then you pull them back out with dino cry um it's basically how i've put this whole thing together i'm really happy that we have the karate on ex to pull those energies back out. Um, I think this deck is a lot better with the Koridon EX as as a part of it. Um, I've just been really enjoying playing this deck today. This looks like a bona fide win, man. We came back from what six two to 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 take it. Jeez, jeez, Louise. There you go. There you go. We took the game. That's another win. Six wins, two losses. Look at that. 10 more damage. Wowza. Wowza, wowza. 140 experience. Look at that. Okay. And it is past four. We have done technically two hours of stream. I'll, I'll play one more. We'll do one. One more. I'm going to grab a beer. Oh, it's electric. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's, I get the coin flip again. Okay, we flip it. We see if we win. What we got? What do we got? I go first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I won the coin flip. Wow. I think I won the coin flip every single game. To start Riolu or to start Arcanine? Let's start Arcanine. Let's see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's an electric type deck. So we have the type of matchup. We probably should have started Riolu. It might not be. It might be a water type. And that's the game. 210. Done. Finished. It's not my fault you didn't get your deck set up. So, not even as long as I thought it would be. Holy cow. Yeah, this guy. I'm sorry. I don't know what kind of deck you're playing where you got 11 cards in your hand and no basic Pokemon. That's kind of crazy. No bench Pokemon. I didn't even see the Raikou. He didn't even play a Raikou. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Well, um... <laughs> Seven wins. Seven wins. Seven wins and two losses. Not bad. That's crazy. All right. Let me pull my deck up. Yeah, this was a fun one. I really enjoyed playing with this deck. 
haven't really seen any fighting decks. Well, this is a good example of a fun one. Um, I feel like the fighting deck still struggles because of you still have, you know, Lugia V-Star still. I don't know if it's it's standard anymore, but um, fighting decks tend to be kind of clunky. They don't tend to have a lot of supporter cards that help them put energies on, and they tend to have a lot of high energy costs, um, which makes them very clunky to deal with. They do a lot of damage when you can get them up and running, but it's hard to get them up and running because most of the supporter cards add damage. They don't really do anything else. So it's been a struggle to get good fighting decks together. Even the Koraidon EX deck, I was playing it for a little bit, still struggles. That Lucario engine really helps you get energy onto your Pokemon. And then this Irresistible Force really does um, get rid of that problem that most fighting decks have of putting the energies on. So I guess you can play B. I don't know if B is still standard, but you discard a lot of cards to play B, um, which can be a hindrance. Um, but yeah, no, I really enjoy playing this Arcanine V deck. I definitely recommend it, the Hisuian Arcanine V deck. It's fun. Um, there will be a deck list in the information box. Arcanine is not a fighting type Pokemon. It is originally a fire type Pokemon. And if you look, actually, the original Arcanine is here in the other deck it's the uh it's the fire type but basically what they did with the hisuian you see it's a different region so this is the arcanine in um in hisui uh in the hisuian region so it's a fighting type it's the same thing that they did with sword and shield with the legendary birds how articuno is a psychic type zapdos is fighting and moltres is dark they basically can just change the type of pokemon when they're in different regions so this is a different regional Pokemon, which is kind of cool, kind of interesting. Um, and yeah, so you get the Hisui and Arcanine. That's why he looks different. He's got the black hair. He's got the little diamond, like the pokey thing on his head. Um, and yeah, this card looks weird. He's a weird looking Pokemon. I, I, I do have to say that he looks very strange, but the card is fun to play with. So uh, if you're looking for a fighting deck, definitely recommend this one i had a great time playing it today and uh that's gonna be it i'm gonna call it there happy 420 everyone uh it just turned 420 um that's gonna be it from me today i'm md tenebris i had a really good time playing this deck today uh i definitely recommend it if anyone's interested in a fighting type deck this one works uh, a peach it's very fun um yeah i had a really good time i hope everyone who came along for the stream had a good time as well um, didn't get a ton of competitive matchups, but we still won most of our games, which is the important part. Um, so, um, yeah, below me on the screen, I have two links. The red link is to my YouTube channel that's got all of my other videos on it, the past catalog. If you like this, you can go check them out. Feel free to like it. Um, that is MD Tenebris Plays Pokemon. The purple link is for my Twitch account. I'm here every Saturday at 2 or every Monday at 6.30. Uh, feel free to come and join in the chat and talk to me about Pokemon, make fun of me for losing and whatnot. I have in the information box a Discord link if you want to talk to me offline about any of the things I've done, uh, built uh, decks maybe, you want to talk about different ideas or something. Um, feel free to do it in the Discord. It's for chatting about Pokemon. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be it from me today. I hope, uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day. I hope you get a very good night's sleep tonight. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Uh, my Monday stream is going to be canceled. I'm not going to be here to do it. Um, there might be a replacement stream on Tuesday or Wednesday. I haven't decided which. I will put the information of that into the Discord channel um, when I know. Probably Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, but we'll see. Um, and that's going to be it from me. This is MD Tenebris signing off. Take it easy, everyone, and uh, have a good one. Peace out.